What's going on YouTube? I hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into all the normal youtube -y talking head stuff, quick reminder, be sure and subscribe to the channel. And I apologize if you can hear my dog in the background chewing on a bone. I'm probably gonna take it from him here in a second. But yeah, if you if you like this kind of content and you, and you wanna keep coming back and you wanna keep being aware when a new video is coming out, be sure and subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, it means a ton. Um, but yeah, let's uh, make me a little bit of food and let's have today's video because this is kind of an awkward conversation, so let's do it. Bubba. Hey. Can I have that? Thank you. Sorry, buddy. Let's get you a squishy toy. That's the bone thingy. No, it's not rawhide. Those are terrible for your dogs. I don't know what this is. Shelby bought it, so it's probably like good for the dog. But anyway, let's talk. Um, I actually have notes here, which is not a normal thing. Okay, now the toy he has is... Uh, now it's being loud too, so I'm not gonna take that away from him. But I'm gonna make me some food. I just got back from the gym, so I'm gonna make me some food and then talk while we're doing this. So yeah, we're basic chicken, rice. Let's tilt this up a little bit. So basically with this video, I wanna give you guys an update on kind of where I'm at with my own goals and the big, the big news that uh, not really anyone else knows about because I wanted to give context with it. So we're gonna talk about it while I'm making food. A lot of you guys have been asking me like, hey Jared, how's your journey going? A lot of you guys, like I've been getting some interesting DMs. A lot of people are like, hey, how's your fat loss journey going? How's your goals going? Like what's, what's up? You haven't talked about it. Hey, you're looking kind of thick. So like you said you're on a fat loss phase, but like nothing seems to be happening. So like what's going on? Which is fair. Yeah, so that's what this video is about. Because basically a few things. Because um, last time, Cool. Last time we talked, I was in the middle of my own fat loss phase. I just started it and whatnot. But one thing I didn't tell anybody is something seemed off. Well, two things. I quit documenting it because to be honest, I got really busy. I kind of forgot because of that ADHD life. But I also legitimately got really busy and documenting my journey was not very high on the, the priority list. Because during all of that, uh, we were moving big fucking thing. Business stuff has been crazy. Travel has been crazy. Like in just the past few months, I've hired several people. I've had to make sure they're trained. Um, business has been doing some crazy stuff, which has been amazing. But with that also comes with all the taking care of it side, making sure clients are fulfilled, take, taking care of my team, making sure they're good, then work trips and things like that. And then on top of it, moving. Like literally, I don't know if you guys remember it, when as soon as we moved into this new house, like Shelby had to do all the unpacking because as soon as we moved in, like three days later, I had to leave for like a week long work trip. So things have just been crazy. So that's why I haven't been really documenting as much, but also I had some, I probably should have just to, so you guys were aware of what's going on, but I also had some complication -y things come up that I needed to, that I, that I personally wanted to get checked out um, to see what was going on. Because not only was the fat loss stuff a little bit extra like slow for me, like weight loss is always slow, but something seemed off, right? Something definitely seemed off. We're gonna throw this in the microwave real quick. Something seemed really off. Um, and then I also felt like shit no matter what I did. Like a lot of you guys knew, like I went and got a sleep study done. It turns out I have sleep apnea, so I like have to use one of those things now, which sucks. But then like, th I didn't get any relief from that, even though I've been using it. And then um, things have just been a little all over the place. Like my energy is constantly shit. My caffeine intake was crazy because I was just so tired. And then things were just all over the place. But here's the thing, when that stuff is going on, generally it's not the best idea to push through a fat loss phase extra hard. So I wanted to take a, take a minute to see about some stuff. So I wanted to be honest, get my hormones checked. Like I just turned 30 and I really wanted to get a hormone pain Panel done to see where my actual big boy hormones are at. I want to know where my thyroid is at. I want to know where my testosterone's at. I want to know where all of that stuff is at. So that's what I did. So I basically went and had that done and it gave me some interesting feedback about like, and I'm gonna get into that on the video because here's the thing, you guys know I'm not the big like, oh, you can't lose weight or you're having trouble losing weight, it must be your hormones because most people can't be consistent. Most people have, haven't actually given this enough time. Most people's execution is poor, then they blame it on hormones. But the thing is for me, that wasn't the case. I was doing everything. I'm a very active 30 year old male 
who like I train like three days a week, four days a week, and then I do jujitsu like another three days a week. On top of it, I feel like shit. My diet was in check. Things were just all over the place. So I'm like, I, I wonder if we have something deeper going on. So I went to get a hormone panel done. Actually, to be honest, I went to my doctor and I said, Hey, doc, um, I feel like shit all the time, and I'm a coach, and I know how to eat, and I know how to train, and even that has been a little bit off. So I would love to get my testosterone checked and just do a hormone panel because I've never had one done. And the doc went, eh, we don't really do that, which is fucking stupid. Like that's ridiculous. Like you should, you should be able to walk into any doctor and go, I want to get my hormones checked and see where they're at. And they should go gladly, but she did not So she was like, eh, yeah, no, let, let's, let's not do that. Well, then I basically guilted her into it. And she's like, okay, well, I guess we can. And like, it was like pulling teeth, which is really sad. So she did. And it turns out my testosterone was super low, which is like, oh, no shit, I feel like ass. So my testosterone, when she did my blood work, was basically about 300, was barely over 300. Well, here's, here's the issue with testosterone. The healthy range, healthy range, for all men across the board on the planet, on their point system should be like 300 to 1,000. And so mine was at like 333, and the doc's like, what, you're fine? And I go, no, I'm not. Like, like I know 60 year olds where their doctor's like, yeah, we're not letting your test go below 600. So I'm like, and I feel like, like the results are the results. It's no wonder I feel like shit. I look like shit and I'm tired all the time. And it's just, things are not good while I'm keeping all my habits in check. Like getting my sleep fixed, getting on my sleep apnea machine, like, eating right, like training consistently, and even still I was having all these issues. So that screams hormone problems. And I'm like, so can we talk about like some TRT, testosterone replacement therapy? And she's like, basically shut that down instantly. So I may have pulled one of those, mom says no, you go and ask dad. That's basically what I did. Because I don't know if you guys remember or not, but uh, a couple years ago, I had a good, good friend of mine on the podcast, Dr. Alex Minoso, and he happens to own an entire line of hormone clinics across the country called Genesis Lifestyle Medicine. Big fan of theirs, subtle plug, but I wanted to go and I want to get this done. I like, it's not okay that I feel like this and my numbers are so low. Actually, I hit up my buddy Alex. And I'm like, yo, can your people get me taken care of? And he's like, yeah, just go on in. Cause ironically they have a clinic here in Indianapolis. So that's what I did. I went to them, had my blood work taken by them. And they're like, yeah, your numbers are really low. So between your numbers so low and you feeling so bad, um, yeah, we can absolutely start you on a treatment. So that's what I've been doing for the past like eight weeks or so. To be honest, I wish I would have made this video earlier when I started doing that. But like I said, things have been crazy and I have been doing other things. So yeah, but nonetheless, so now I'll take you upstairs here in a minute and talk about and show you my, my stuff and what I've been doing and, and things like that. And this way I can kind of take you guys along for this journey. Now, here's the thing though. I don't want you to take this video out of context. I'm not saying that just because you're struggling to lose weight, you should instantly go get hormones or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying though, is if something seems extra off and your actions are in place, like your training right, your nutrition's right, your sleep and stress management and things like that are, are in a good place and something's still off, you feel like shit and look like shit and all this stuff, maybe we need to go see about where your hormones are at. Because here's the thing, it's not one of those things where like just because your hormones are off, it instantly like inhibits fat loss. It's not how it works. But you have to understand that hormones play a massive role in your metabolism, in your ability to build muscle, in your ability to lose fat. It can definitely throw a monkey wrench into everything. Like with my testosterone being low, I'm not burning as many calories. I'm having a harder time building muscle. I feel like shit. I'm tired all the time, which then makes me not want to do things, which makes workouts hard. I don't think there's ever anything wrong with just being curious, getting your numbers checked, because there's a million things that can cause also hormonal issues. Like if you are super overweight, that by itself will cause hormone problems. If you're not eating right or training right, that will, let me be clear. The reason I decided to do this is because all of that stuff has been on point and has been consistent and we still have all these problems. So that's why I decided to do it. And 
I'm feeling a little bit of a difference. I'm starting to tell a little bit. It's, it's interesting though, because keep in mind, a lot of people might misunderstand this because a lot of times people think about injectable hormones and they instantly think about like bodybuilders and Mr. Olympia and like being crazy on gear and all this stuff. It's not what it is. You have to understand like this is totally a different setup or taking crazy amounts of steroids. When you see like a big bodybuilder or an athlete do big, big amounts of cycles, they're dosing at a much higher level. They probably didn't get this from the doctor. And then also they're doing it without doctor supervision and they have to run crazy levels. So then they have to go in waves and cycles and it can have, that's when you can have a lot of adverse effects. By the way, this is not medical advice. This is not hormone advice. I'm just purely telling you about my experience with this. I'm not saying anyone should take anything or not take anything. I'm saying everyone should go consult with a qualified medical professional. But otherwise, the dose is super, the dose is super small. We're just trying to slowly increase my levels over the course of time. But like I said, I'm already starting to feel a little bit better. I don't need quite as much caffeine to function. I do have more energy. My mental clarity is quite a bit better. Being super honest, sex drive, which wasn't an issue before, is higher. My stamina is quite a bit better. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm just being fully transparent. My training partners in jujitsu have, before they knew, some of them were like, are you on test? Because holy shit. So uh, my lifts are better. I've, some people have said they're noticing like stuff in like, I haven't noticed a lot of physique changes yet, but I've been having some people talk about like, I look thicker in a muscly way. So hopefully here soon with keeping my nutrition in check, some body fat will be dropping, I'll be getting leaner, but otherwise that's really where things are at. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you kind of what things look like. And they're gonna play and be loud, that's cool. I wanna grab my stuff and kind of show you what everything looks like and then kind of walk you through it a little bit. Like I said, this is not medical advice. I'm not telling anyone to go do anything or to not do anything. I'm saying talk to your professional doctor about hormone related things. I'm just telling you about my experience. I'm just trying to be transparent with you. So yeah, this is literally what my stuff looks like. We got a couple different types of needles, We've got alcohol pads, and then this, for those that aren't sure, is what it looks like. So it looks like this, a little bitty vial. Um, for those in the medical field or those nerdy enough to care, um, this is test sipinate, test C. While I'm up here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, do the deed really quick. I'm not gonna show you because it's frowned upon. That's it, I'm gonna do it real quick. Oh, if it helps, by the way, like to give you guys perspective, like it's not that much. Like, I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Like my personal dose, again, not telling you to do anything, not medical advice. I'm just showing you how, what I'm doing as pure, pure, purely documenting. This is it. Like this is, this is it. Like here to here, like that's it. That's all the testosterone that's in there. This is a quarter milliliter. The reason my shirt's part way on is, um, I'm so I basically they, the way the doctors told me is I need to alternate my sights. So I alternate between ass cheek, ass cheek, shoulder, shoulder, ass cheek, ass cheek, shoulder, shoulder. So yeah, we're gonna press pause real quick. And there you have it. With, that's it. So um, like I said, I don't want to make any of you like uncomfortable or uh, or. Uh, offend YouTube or any any of these other socials. But yeah, that's it. Then I just throw away all my shit. So that is it, friends. That is that is the new update. So ideally, like this is gonna make things a little bit easier. Sorry if the audio in here is really like weird. So this should hopefully make things a little bit better. And it, and it has been. Because here's the thing, guys. I don't want you to think I'm doing, doing this to have like a fat loss advantage. I'm just telling you like my testosterone should be higher. My baseline testosterone should be so much higher. Like the way my doctors are talking, like I should be tripled. Like they said they would like my testosterone or like around 900, 1000 units. And I'm at like 300 when I did my, when I got my blood test. So like imagine as in my energy could be tripled. I could feel three times as better. I could function three times as better. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing this as a medication to get my, to get my numbers to where they should be. We're not doing this to do like crazy cycles. I know some people who will do tests and get like their numbers like, that are already high, but they'll get them to like 2,000 or even 3,000, um, which is ridiculous. So I'm doing this 
by a doctor to get it myself to where it should be that functions everything else so that's why i'm doing it so to be honest i've still been like in a testing period of like where to put my my own nutrition but to be honest i've been being very intuitive lately because again i don't want to just like like though my appetite's increased like i feel better but i don't want to just backfill all this and just eat we eat too much so what i've been doing is while i'm kind of getting acclimated and used to where things are at i've been just eating very intuitively and monitoring like where my body's at what my body He's doing am i getting leaner am i staying the same am i getting bulkier like what's happening and then i'm making adjustments so now that i've had like a little bit of time i'm getting ready to like say all right here are my numbers i'm gonna put my calories here i'm gonna put my protein here i'm gonna do these workouts so that kind of thing but otherwise if you guys are into this i will take you along for the ride if you are interested put it below because if you don't give a fuck i won't do these but for those who do care and do want to see kind of this process with my day-to-day -day, just documenting my journey of this i'm happy to so yeah that's the news Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.